something crazy might come out potentially, or at least I did. <laughs> but Lacoste definitely did. But this Hard is to play this hero as a carry, so. Nine Pandas might have been considering that as part of the reason they picked the Morphling when they did, right? They picked the Morph into Mag Brood and the oh, Dark Willow. Well, not quite level four, so can't just onslaught away. That's going to be an easy pickoff. At first blood for Planet. Takes a full almost six. Minutes. Some games we've seen, I think it's like seven or eight is mid lane. Kiyotaka taking a ton of damage. We'll get the Astral to save himself a bit, but it looks like he might just drop to that Shockwave. Indeed, he does. Echo stop from Solo just a little bit too late. One of the best heroes at pushing powers for two reasons. Obviously, Brood deals a lot of damage to it, but also just infinite tanking, right? You keep your creep wave alive the whole time. The spiders buy you so much time to get this damage. Oh, nice. oh the Astral Imprisonment just in time. Oh, that's... But they actually messed up the timing overall because there's the RP, but another misspell. This time the Mystic Flare. Miro getting extremely low. The Pulverize gets canceled instantly. That's finally the first death, and that's in favor of LGD. There's a nice Sandy's Eclipse onto two. Not enough for kill quite yet as Ramses comes in with that waveform. So they get the support tree in the end, but my goodness, a lot of miscues. <laughs> from... It truly feels good, uh, but it's a pretty expensive wish list. I need some good gifts for that. Paris, he's going to get the telekinesis off, but this will surely be his death eventually. Uh, okay, getting blocked. He just missed twice. Kill? Okay, there we oh. go. Eventually fine, and now they're going to get a beautiful RP onto the OD with the Astral. Not in time, actually, because the Mystic Flare was more than enough damage. So they end up getting the kill that they wanted originally. And oh, they're getting squeezed in a bit here. Nothing to say. Has a shield rune activated? Are they going to be able to find anybody? Miero is their target. He has been all game long. RP going to get canceled temporarily as he tries to get another miscue, but they still have more than enough damage to take out the Primal Beast. What's the lowest amount of kills on a team this tournament, minute 20? Uh, Two kills? Oh, for one team? Yeah, it might be. It's Sock is going to be found. Oh, more staff oh, on nice, the high ground. Nicely done, but it's going to set the Mystic Flare. Nothing to say. He's going to bring him right back, but no. Gets terrorized to the other side. Akio Taka stuck inside a corner. It's a bunch of spiders. He's not going to be able to get out. And Solo will follow him to the grave as well, though he was killed by a neutral. Creeps, you know? Oh, there's only uh, 11 kills total in the game. As the RP on the Kiyotaka, Ancient Seal to follow. Do they have the damage? Yes. But they can't deny him his goddamn might is because he got it off in time. Nice. Granted, I still think this fight is going to be really hard, but you kind of have to try to do something. They're actually opting to smoke now. Oh, Ramsey! Oh my uh, god, the damage! One Mystic Flare was enough. This is a oh. hunger Neo's back to full HP again. That ability, I want to say, is crucial for Nine Pandas to be able to kill. I think they really need OD's burst damage to get through some of these heroes. It's one of their only abilities dealing meaningful damage oh, during there's Shadow Realm as well. Arrow finally pops the BKB, going for the Pulverize. This is on the Magnus. They're doing a lot of damage. He's dead. 80 seconds of no mag. And with that, LGD will likely retreat. There's the BKB forced by Shiro. Getting off the Shadow Realm again as Miero just dies helplessly on the sidelines. They're going to lose a second in the form of the Elder Titan as Ramsey's just trying to go town on the Neo, but he has to worry about his HP pool. They're going to the high ground, not expecting that apparently. As Kiyotaka, finally the Agnum Scepter does activate, but it's going to lead to his death eventually. The Astral Imprisonment will give him a little bit of extra time. Going to try to blink to safety. Four staffs as well getting whipped into oblivion, but will live through the day as Ramsey's attempting to get out as well. Will actually do so. So these cores somehow evading death. That should go down to nine. And the duration is seven. So it's two second window. That's okay. more than I said. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The sheep being used onto Kiyotaka. Does have his Astral nice Imprisonment stomp. available. We'll get saved by the Echo Stomp to start. That's why you smile. He's going to find him on the backside. He's nothing to say. Pops his BKB looking for a nice RP potentially. The ETL does go off. Kiyotaka's Axe activates again. There's the RP to follow. The Pulverize is there as well, keeping them locked down. But there's the RP. They lose the OD as Shiro now trying to right click Mirror. He's actually quite pathetic when he's not in his Shadow Realm uh, ability. He gets off his Terrorize. Not really going to hit anybody, though. The Echo Stomp is there as well. There's the Skewer from Nothing to Say. King putting Miro onto the cliff as Shiro finally goes down. As that's a triple kill for Ramses, starting to clean up nicely for Nine Pandas. Not showing much life in this game until this fight. I think it would. Uh, mech? You can't mech yourself. It goes on cooldown on yourself. Oh, Miro's right? going to get Skewered onto the other side. They lose their Tier 1 tower. The RP on just... The primal Some beast, but the right click okay. damage from Shiro is absurd. All right, they say he gets the kill though. Keep in mind that was a BKB. Oh, right? Neo on the other side of the map is pressuring the bot lane. You can see the rest of LGD trying to force them back so that he can just get these buildings himself. Ramsey's deletes planet in the meantime, though. Bramble's there, they're gonna find the tree as well. But if that it's gonna cost them the racks, that is definitely not what they signed up for. That is two now for the side of LGD. 
Oh, nice waveform. There's 0.9 seconds that you're outside of Shadow Realm. Okay, Nero. Look at the onside. They're actually going to lose new oh. fight off the bat. That is a very important hero, but Shiro deletes solo. So it's a one for one, and now the buyback comes from the Brood. Ancient Seal, not going to prevent the blink out from Kiyotaka. Let's use his Refresher Shard for that, though. Just to refresh the blink. I guess he also refreshed his ult, to be fair, because he did use and continuing on with that Shadow Realm, onto that melee, Rax. Nero jumps in, instantly hexed. And Kiyotaka gets off the Astro Imprisonment. There's the RP, it's only onto one, though. It's the Primal Beast, as Hot Dog, <laughs> as the Dark Willow pops the BKB himself. It's Ramsey's taking so much damage, he goes in really deep. He's dead, does have buyback, though, as Kiyotaka there. Is the Essence Flux finally activating? Will be able to blink to safety as a result. And they do get that Dark Willow in the end. So a one for a three with a couple buybacks from nine pandas. That morph buyback is really expensive. Nano. I guess fair is the wrong word. Oh, smoke break. Arrow. Quick unable reaction. Unable to find a connection. And Kiyotaka, he's right behind him. He's going to get instantly hexed. There's the RP on to two. Can they take out the OD? Agnum Scepter does activate again. He's going to get rooted up in an ice. Mystic Flare onto two heroes. There's the buyback onto the tree, but the OD is lost along with the Primal. Kiyotaka buys back into the game. A couple buybacks from LGD as well as Shiro finally takes a tumble, and now he will finally use his buyback. They're going to try to force out this eventual buyback from Kiyotaka, and with that, it'll be a 4v5. Save. Kiyotaka was healing. I'm sure he didn't want to admit to his team why he was healing in the <laughs> fountain. When there was no heroes remotely close to him, he's going to blink into the corner. He's going to force that in. They're going to be able to see him. Oh, he gets hexed. So there's the RP finally to come. OD is dead. No buyback at all. And Miero will follow suit. He does have his buyback available. There's the waveform from Ramsey. He's able to clean up one. And that's a form of new. So no brood to come, but he does have his buyback available right now. It looks like Antares is going to die on the sidelines. As there's a triple buyback coming out. Making a quad from, from nine pandas. As Ramsey has to be careful. Gonna get the waveform in, but it looks like LGD are on the run. They're gonna lose their Triant Protector. There's nothing to say, able to Shadow Blade away. Almost through the game by doing that. I think he learned a lesson here. He's like, this is a trap, so oh, he's new. just gonna If they wave. can get him, that's a dieback. He's gonna get Sheep. There's the buyback onto the Triant Protector. Oh, he's he Down goes Brood, no buyback from the side of LGD. So that just like that, it's a 4v5. LGD have, have given so... Keep in mind, Seer Stone on the Triant could be a game-winning item, potentially, if you use it well for that vision. As it will break here. Yep, nice overgrowth from Why You Smile, but they're not going to be able to stand inside that Ancient Seal. Nice Hex. They run to Ramses for the time being. Miero gets off his ult, though, and that is going to be a deleted Magnus who has to buy back into the game. Shiro already at half HP. He's going to have to use a Shadow Realm now, focusing on the support, but he's taking a lot of damage from Miero, just shadowing him with that uproar. He's going to be able to blink out to the high ground. Another Shadow Realm is there, Solo, his Eon Disprox. And Miero trying to find somebody in the trees. They're going to find Planet, he dies. So just like that, two dead for LGD. Both have bought back now. You're banking on here. And Ramsey's in the pit. And they're going to take Roche extremely fast. As there's a Shadow Realm again doing massive amounts of damage. Not quite enough for the kill. He's now being shadowed by Miero. Mew is going for the, the Megas. Trees. He is indeed. They only have the Range Racks for now. The Shadow Realm now. And Terrace, he takes the RP all by his lonesome. So not the greatest thing for nothing to say. They will get the kill in the end. That's a dieback, essentially, because two minutes for no Rubik. Echo Stomp. Not really going to connect on much other than the... The Magnus. So double kill for Shiro. So they are finding kills in the back line. There's the second RP into the arms of Shiro. The hot dogs are too much to handle for nine pandas. As Miero, oh, he blinks out thanks to the Eon disc. Can they find him? Yes. The Curse Crown with that shard activating is triple kill for Shiro. And Ramsey is attempting to TP out. He will do so, but only two alive for nine pandas. All right. This is you'll get the Megas, sure. Get Megas. But are you going to go for the Juggler? Four. Well, Tier 4 is going down quickly as well, and just the Ancient exposed now as Ramses and Kiyotaka trying to defend two versus five. Can they do it? I highly doubt it, but they're going to try. 48 half HP is the Ancient. Waveform into Ramses is going to get hexed right off the bat. There's the Ancient seal to follow. The GGs are called as the Ancient gets destroyed. And LGD take game one. The Hot Dogs reign supreme, Cinderella. <laughs>